Hello, in this video we're going to look at composite functions. So if we've got a variable x, we can apply a function g to it and we would get g of x. And then we could apply the function f to g of x and we would get f g of x. Now rather than getting from the variable x to f g of x in two steps by applying two different functions, we could apply one composite function f g and that would bring us straight from x to f g of x. So that's what a composite function is. So let's have a look at our first example. Our first example says, given f of x equals 2x plus 1 and g of x equals x minus 5, find f g of x. So here we've got x. We apply g first of all and we get g of x and then we apply f and we get f g of x. So what we want to do is we want to apply, if we've got f g, we want to apply g and then we want to apply f. So here we've got g of x. So if we take this x minus 5 and we put it into our f of x, in for the value of x here, we can then expand that and find out what our f g of x is. So what we're going to do is we're going to write f g of x equals, now we look at our f of x function, which is 2x plus 1, but we're going to put in the g of x into that for the x. So we're going to write 2 bracket, and then we write our x minus 5, and then close brackets, and then our plus 1. And then whenever we expand that, well, let's have a look what we get. We get 2x minus 10 plus 1. So overall, that would mean that f of or fg of x would be equal to 2x minus 9. And that's it. So that is our fg of x. Now let's just check it works, okay? Let's just choose a value for x, okay? So let's just say, for instance, x is equal to 2. Okay, so we would apply g first of all to it. So 2 minus uh, 5 would be equal to minus 3. And then we'd apply f to it. Okay, so we've got minus 3. So 2 times minus 3 is minus 6 plus 1 would be equal to minus 5. Now if we just take our 2 first of all and put it straight into our answer, we would get 2 times 2, which is 4 minus 9, which is also equal to minus 5. So we can see this function, rather than applying g and then f, we could just apply this function of 2x minus 9 and it will bring us to the same values at the end. Okay, so if you want to find f g of x, you take your g of x and you put it into your f of x. Next, part b. This time we want to find g f of x. Okay, so do you notice the f is closest to the x? That means we're going to apply the function f first of all, and then we're going to apply the function g. Okay, so this time what we're going to do is to find this overall, this composite function, g f of x, what we're going to do is we're going to take our f of x and we're going to put it into g. So our f of x is this, and we're going to put it into the function g there. Okay, and for the value for x in the function. So g f of x will be equal to, well it's x, which is this, which is 2x plus 1, and then we're going to take away 5. Whenever we have that, well, we didn't actually need the brackets there, so we've got 2x, and then 1, take away 5, will be equal to minus 4. So g f of x will be equal to 2x. Let's check it. So let's again say that x is equal to 2. If we apply f, of, um, if we apply f first of all, well, f of x is 2x plus 1. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5. And then we apply the function g, which is x minus 5, well, 5 minus 5 is 0. So if we put in 2, we get 0. Let's try it with our composite function. 2 times 2 is 4. Take away 4 is 0. So it shows you that it works, okay? So if you want to find g f of x, you take your f of x and you put it into your g of x. Okay, let's try some examples now and we'll do it without the use of this diagram. So, our example 2. Given f of x equals x squared plus 2 and g of x equals 2x plus 1, find f g of x. So if we want to find f g of x, we're going to take our g of x and put it into f of x. So we want to take our g of x and put it into our f of x here. Okay, in for the value for x. Okay, so f g of x will equal, well our f of x is x squared, but instead of x squared, we're going to put our 2x plus 1, close bracket squared. And then we have our plus 2, so we then write plus 2. So in other words, we just replace the value for x or the, the x with our g of x function. So now we're going to need to expand this. So if we expand it, remember we write the bracket out twice, so 2x plus 1, 2x plus 1, and then write our plus 2 on the end. Using FOIL, expanding this, we give us 4x squared plus 2x plus 2x plus 1. And then don't forget our plus 2 on the end. So we would get fg of x would be equal to 4x squared plus 
4x plus 3. And that's it. That's our composite function, fg of x. This time, we're now going to find g f of x. So we're going to take our f of x, and we're going to put it into the function g. So let's just rub that out. So we're going to take our g f of x, and we're going to put it, replace the, the x in the function g with that. So we're going to put it in there. So g f of x would equal our 2, and then our bracket, our x squared plus 2, instead of the x and then plus 1 on the end. So whenever we expand that, we get 2x squared plus 4, and then our plus 1. So it should give us 2x squared plus 5, and that is our gf of x. And that's it. Okay, so let's have a look at part c. Like functions such as f of x and g of x, with composite functions, you can substitute values in for the variable, such as fg of 2. So what that means is we're going to put 2 into fg, that composite function. Okay, so we've worked out fg in the, uh, previously, just a second ago, and fg of x was equal to 4x squared plus 4x plus 3. So fg of x is equal to 4x squared plus 4x plus 3. So that's the composite function. Now, as you can see, we're going to substitute in the value 2 here. So fg of 2 would equal... 4 times 2 squared, remember with Bob Mass we're going to square that 2 first of all, plus 4 times 2 plus 3. So that will give us 4 times 4 plus, let's work this bit out, 8 plus 3. 4 times 4 is 16, plus 8 plus 3. 16 plus 8 is equal to 24, plus 3 would be 27. So fg of 2 is equal to 27. Now, if we didn't know that composite function, you can do it using the two individual functions, g of x and f of x. And just remember that fg means you apply g first of all, and then you apply f. So if we take our 2 and put it into the function g of x, so that would give us 2 times 2, which is 4, plus 1, which is 5. And then we put that into our f of x, which so would be 5 squared, which is 25, plus 2. You'd also get 27. So you can do the two individual uh, functions, uh, g of x and f of x, or we could just use the composite function um, fg of x. Okay, part D. Part D is to work out g, um, g f of 3. So again, we could put the 3 into f of x and then get that answer and put it into g of x. Um, or we've got the composite function here anyway, which is 2x squared plus 5. So g f of x is equal to 2x squared plus 5. And we're going to substitute in the value 3. So g f of 3 will equal 2 times 3 squared plus 5. Well, 2 times 3 squared is 9, plus 5. 2 times 9 is 18, plus 5 would give us 23. So that means that gf of 3 would be equal to 23. Um, just to sort of show you, you can put it, the 3 into f of x first of all. So 3 squared is 9, plus 2 is 11. And then get that and put it into g of x. 2 times 11 is 22, plus 1 is 23. Okay, um, and example 3. Example 3 says f of x equals 2x minus 1 and g of x equals um, x plus 3. Find the value of x such as fg of x is equal to 19. So uh, we need to work out our fg of x. So we're going to put our g of x into our f of x, in for the value of x, or in for x. So that would mean that fg of x will equal 2 bracket x plus 3 close brackets, minus 1. That will give us 2x plus 6 minus 1, and that then would be 2x plus 5. So fg of x is equal to 2x plus 5. Now, we know that that's equal to 19, and we want to find the value for x. So we're just going to make an equation. We're going to get our 2x plus 5, and just write that's equal to 19, because we know it's going to be equal to 19, and find what x is. So minus 5 from both sides will give us 2x equals 14, divided by 2 we mean that x equals 7. And let's just check it, if we get our 7, well let's actually do it um, using the individual functions, g of x and then f of x. Put the 7 into g of x, which should be 10, and then put that into f of x, 2 times 10 would be 20, take away 1 is 19. So that's it. Okay. And just to show you that sometimes you might see a function called ff of x or gg of x. And what that means is you're just going to put f of x into f of x. So it means you're applying the function of, uh, you're applying the function f and then you're going to apply it again. 
Okay, so let's have a look at a quick example like that. So given f of x equals 3x plus 5, find ff of x. Um, sometimes you might see it written as f squared of x, um, and that means ff of x. Um, and then we need to find ff1. So we're going to put our f of f f of x into f of x. I'm just going to write it again so we can see it. So we're going to put our f of x here in for the value of x in the f of x there. So 3 bracket 3x three plus 5 close brackets plus 5 and that would be f f of x. Well that would be 9x plus 15 and then plus 5. So that would be equal to 9x plus 20. And then our ff of 1, well, we just need to put 1 into that. So given that ff of x is equal to 9x plus 20, we're going to put 1 into that. So ff of 1 would be equal to 9 times 1 plus 20. So it's going to be equal to 9 plus 20, 29. That's it.